one of the things we've focused on the, over the past seven, eight seasons is really the choral masterpieces, especially of the Baroque, that we could have the Philadelphia sound also in that repertoire, which traditionally uh, was not associated with the orchestra. I'm thinking of the few times I conducted Handel Messiah, uh, the few times also I did the Matthew Passion uh, by Bach, and of course Matthew Passion is with two choirs, two orchestras, a lot of soloists, so it is monumental. But Bach Mass in B minor, I believe, is even further is in, in being a monument for many reasons. Of course the proportions, it's as vast as the passion, but also what I'm really happy with is that it's going to get me, give me the chance to work in that style with beyond the strings and the oboes, more of the rest of the orchestra. Three trumpets, timpani, horn solo, bassoon solo, it is actually a little more symphonic, if I might say, and the, a little bit like a cathedral, some of the beauty of it is the grandeur of it, is the vast space, and we feel that Bach really could um, be inspired by our idea of um, spirituality and immensity and eternity, and yet it is also, for example, in the famous Agnus Dei by the end, which is an um, alto solo uh, with strings, it is extremely intimate and a little bit like, uh, again, going in a church or a synagogue or any religious space. Uh, there is this sense of awe and yet it's about our own relationship to um, whether it's the divine or anything that is spiritual the harmony of the world, and I think that's the purpose of doing this in our concert hall, being all together with the sheer beauty of this music and communicate and live together um, the better space that it leads us to aspire to.